Hey everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We are actually going to do... do a couple of things. See, I'm really... really nervous about upgrading anything. Because it's gonna cost a lot of the money I have to do any of it. But we have upgraded... And we haven't used our Daedalus! Daedalus 1. Really awkward thing. Uh, and we're gonna go make sure that this even... So we're gonna start off on this little booster. We'll detach it and start an engine. Detach those, detach that engine, have another engine, which we can detach. Um, okay. <laughs> oh no, we still can't support over 30 parts. That's interesting. I lied! Maybe we won't be able to do this! Can we never change the amount of parts we can attach? Because this doesn't say anything about parts, so maybe 30 is always going to be the maximum amount of parts. Oh. No, we have to upgrade this. And that's a two it's a that's an expensive one. How many parts are we at with this? Two, we got two extra parts. Um We just got a thermometer and a goo pack in there. I mean, I can... Even cutting out the goo pack will cut out one of... One. Uh... Ooh, it's, a, it's a little bit of a, uh... Getting rid of that... If I open this, I'll get rid of that, and then I will have two fins, and I'll actually do... should I do the winglets? No, I want two. Okay, so that should put us right at the 30 limit. Yep. Alright. So, this is the slightly altered Daedalus 2. Daedalus 1. Sorry. See, we're firing... we're actually firing one down here as well. And we're flipping upside down because we don't have... Blah. This is why I think it's time for me to move on to a different game, and I'll come back to this. Uh, is because I'm making the same mistakes over and over and over. Pilot. And yeah, I just think it's r I'm ready for a... Oh, and then of course... I'm ready for some nice story-based content, though. See, you didn't even see that part come off there. Let's actually crank this throttle down. Burp, 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 burp. It's a 
combination of it being top heavy and it not having the aerodynamics that it needs. Because, yeah, now we're just straight up facing downwards, and that obviously is not going to do us any good. Um. Shoot. Okay, so let's. That'll buy us an extra part here. So we'll actually be able to do... Oh. Nice three wings there. So that'll hopefully keep help us keep our balance because we have a little bit more air resistance on all sides. And then the other thing we need since we cut this out is a thermometer which shouldn't do anything to throw off our weight I wouldn't think uh, let's do it on this side I don't know if opening those is gonna affect this. Okay, the r Redux. Daedalus 1 Redux. Don't want to curve him out over the ocean just a little bit. Oops, I didn't notice that that first one had run out. I was running a little bit extra weight. See, we can we kept from flipping out this time. Want us to stop losing? There we go. Now I can just do the full forty-five. Those are the places it wants me to take the temperature. Um, you know, I'm not really entirely sure what I'm doing with this mission. Uh, I don't know what my purpose was. I think my purpose... Okay, let's do a more hard burn. See, we are pretty heavy. Um, just keeping an eye on our fuel here we don't have much but we do have we do have a uh, a much more substantial second stage I believe than we did in the past uh, but we also are carrying a little extra weight so I don't know I don't know 
Let's go ahead and curve this. We're going to rotate this so it's facing that horizon. And we're going to make sure we can hit a steady orbit. Um, and then we're actually going to try a little bit of precision dropping, I think. So once we get to about 75 is when I'm going to want to really hit, uh, hit the Z button. Burn this out, detach it, start my next one right away. Um, the big thing is we just, again, got to make sure, oh, here we go, uh, we leave enough fuel. The leaving a bunch of fuel aspect is kind of important. It's not really growing that much. Okay, we got plenty to burn. And you can see we're a little bit askew from the way the rest of the planets are. Uh, when we actually talk about going to the moon, we'll have to worry about that. Is that? There we go. We're gonna cut. Hopefully that actually cut. Okay. <laughs> so 78 to 38. Um, we're actually gonna need a little bit more. Cause... Basically because if we go that low, uh, we're going to wind up back in atmosphere. But once I get to the periapsis here at about 68861, uh, we're going to continue burning. I want to make, I want to see, I want to get this, uh, orbit fairly far out. It's at 68.8. So that would be the low point. Which will cause the high point to go out, incidentally. This may seem like a strange idea to anybody that actually knows what they're doing. Um, you know what? I'm not even going to wait. I'm going to... I'm aiming a little bit into the sky here. Okay. I'm going to let it go... Uh, basically what I'm looking at is making it go into a rather crazy orbit. And I kind of just want to see how crazy I can get it. Because look at this. But I also want to make sure we're coming back to a part that's, that's actually pretty close. And I'm going to cut off fuel here in just a second. Look at how fast it was starting to grow. But we're actually getting pretty far out there at that point. Um, and this is this is actually not too dissimilar from how uh, 
I would go about going to the moon. I have to actually do uh, some kind of calculation model. Uh, I forget what the thing is called, but look at that. I'm going almost 7 million meters out there is how far I'll eventually be going out there. Uh, and I'll probably actually get here about the time the moon is there, so this will actually end up being the closest to the moon I've ever been. Because, yeah, look at that. I'll be a bit ahead of the moon, but that's not... That's not trivial. And then when I come back, I'll only be 66,000 meters, which is not even in space, technically, anymore. Um, and that'll make it all the easier for me to come back into RMS here. Let's go ahead and warp out here. So yeah, we're approaching as far out as we've ever been. Well, we're way past where we, uh, as far out as we've ever been. But we're reaching our uh, apioapsis, which is our furthest distance. And you can see we're quite a bit... Uh, I don't know how to refer to this, but south, I guess, of everything. They're above us on this, if we consider this a plane. Uh, if we consider our orbit a plane, rather. Then, this is cool. This is cool. Uh, so, we're not... You may have gathered we're not really going for a precision drop this time, although maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be... it's gonna be... we're gonna get to a certain point and go, I wonder if I can land on blank, and uh, we'll see if we, if we manage that. But I'm really actually only going 300 meters a second at this point. A little over 300 meters a second. Let's... See, it barely even looks like I'm moving. Even on this view. It's just like, wow. This is what it would have looked like if we were running this in normal time. This would have been a three and a half hour trip at this point. Okay, we're right about at our apioapsis. So we don't really seem to have gotten too much closer to the moon, because it's way off. Uh, I, was I was hoping it would be closer to over here at the time. But, that but still, that's, that's pretty, uh, I would say that's pretty impressive. Okay, so we're about four hours into it at this point. Um, I need to get a little bit better at this because I need to be on the same plane as all these when I come out here. I need to be ma basically memor yeah, yeah. mimicking the moon's velocity. Uh, I remember... See, we're going out of almost 7 million. And it goes, it's uh, it's at about 11.4 million. So we're two-thirds of the way to its orbit. Where's, look at that. Look at that. Okay. And we're coming... We're getting closer. Okay. So once we get to the periapsis, 66, 8. Uh, 
I'm going to try... Remember what I said about precision drops earlier? I'm going to try to direct us into this body of water. So it is... I mean, I need to... In, in the direction I'm facing... Actually, what is... Yeah, okay. It just looks weird. Uh, we're actually, we're not even going to do that. We're just going to aim straight down to screw with this orbit. Okay, we're actually a little bit past it, so we need to... And I probably should have... I almost definitely should have done this first. We're gonna... we're gonna die in space now. Um, <laughs> I should have done it before reaching this point. Because, yeah, our lowest point is now. I waited too long. I sped up too fast. Um, crap, this is our only pilot, too. Um, I'm going to have to recruit a new pilot, and I'll tell you what these next missions are going to be, actually, is we're going to try to... Uh, let's go ahead and... Sure, yeah. We're going to have to... Um, we're going to have to save Ruben here. Um... That'll be an interesting experiment, uh, but I do want to take a genuine break from this game for just a little bit. Um, just because I want to play something with the story. Uh, i tell you what I'm going to do here, actually, is... Um, Okay, Space Center. Oh, can I not? So yeah, you're just stuck in space, and you're going to keep going. That's weird. Altitude 11 million meters. This says it it's going to go out about 11. It's interesting. This does look like it's heated up or something. But alright, so we now have him forever lost to us in space. He seems pretty cool with it though. He's got a nice shot of the moon here. He's pretty happy about it actually, so I don't feel too bad. We will at some point be back to try to save him. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure how to do that. I know there are ways to merge. Uh, there are ways to merge with other ships that are in space. I was just seeing if I could see if it would show him through the planet. What is this? These are these are presumably some other people's itinerary. But yeah, you can see that really weird orbit there. Uh, we now have a new satellite, a new natural satellite. He um. Dang. Uh, we picked up a lot of speed on that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I knew we were gonna slingshot around. Oh, look at that. We're actually gonna get. Now we're gonna get, like, super close to it. Uh, but. Which way is the planet? Oh, the planet is spinning that way. Okay, so we're actually. We might not be able to save this guy ever. Oop. Whoops! See, in that time I went around a whole two times. See, we're just gonna get further and further out there, I think. But we're always gonna come back 61, that's 1106. 11.0 still, 61. See, and it's going to take us back to this, because it's just like, look. Um, and I'm almost wondering if I just detach this engine at this point. Is that going to give me any kind of downward thrust towards the planet? I don't think so. Okay. Hopefully that actually won't bite me. Hopefully it's, like, still not super easy. Let's speed up time here. I just want to double check and make sure that there's nothing I can do for him at this moment. Uh, or rather, that we're not going to lose him to inevitability. If that's holding true, then we're actually... We are actually lowering... our altitude. He's back in space. <laughs> and that's the interesting thing, is he's not... Uh, he might actually, if we keep doing this, he might actually come back in. Although this... Oh, this is going down a little bit. But that's going down a lot. And that's because, since we are dragging on the Earth's atmosphere every single time, uh, we're losing a lot of speed. Uh, you know what? I have a few minutes left. We're, we're gonna just run out the clock doing this and see what happens. Of course, we need to get to a point... That's... Uh, I don't know. If I saw a dial spinning around like that, I might be a little bit worried. He seems super happy. See, I need to do the astronaut complex upgrade for their sake. And this is just constantly going down. This is... we're now climbing on this. Like I said, I'm perfectly fine just running out the clock doing this. Because this this is kind of amusing to me. Um, I know I should be worried about it since I'm I keep losing money, but he's been in, he's been in orbit for six days now. Because I waited until here, I really should have done it somewhere out here or even at the Apioapsis where I initiated the burn towards the planet because when you when you blow stuff over he oh that's the that's the debris see in the grand scheme of things that debris is not too far from me Is it going to give me the opportunity to... Okay, there we go. So, 10-2-31. We're now...
let's just go ahead and direct this at this point. Uh, because when we do finally come in, and here's the trick, is we're probably going to end up burning up on re-entry <laughs> when we do. Um, I know, I think this is really fascinating. 6, 1, 9. So yeah, we are getting closer and closer. I might actually... Um, we are going to cut that off right here. Bring him with a nice shot of the moon rising over the horizon. Sun on the other side. Sun and moon. Um, he will come back into Earth's atmosphere at some point. Uh, and I'm debating whether I should t treat it as a ticking clock and try to save him. Or uh, let him crash and hope for the best. But alright, thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, we are going to call it quits there for the time being. Uh, I'll get... I will do another episode at some point so we can learn Ruben here's fate. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one.